Hey what's going on guys it's Ed here from Ever Faster Racing and in this video I'll be showing you my qualifying lap for this week's event on F1 2019. This event is a classic Grand Prix event at the Circuit of the Americas which lasts the whole week with Monday to Friday for practice and qualifying and Saturday and Sunday for the races. The format is a short qualifying which is an 18 minute long session which means you can easily get 3 attempts in. It is important to get a good qualifying time not only to get the best starting position but you will get more points if you have a fast lap time. The car I use is a Ferrari F2004 which is the fastest classic car in the game and is also one of the easiest to drive. With this car you can get fast and consistent lap times which is good especially in the races. I also use no traction braking or transmission assist as these increase the amount of points you can get. The Circuit of the Americas located in Austin, Texas is 5.513 km or 3.426 miles long with 20 corners. It has hosted the United States Grand Prix since 2012 and other motorsports such as MotoGP, IndyCar and the World Endurance Championship. It is the first track in the USA to be purpose built for Formula 1 and parts of the track are based off of other tracks such as the S's and Sector 1 being based off of Silverstone's Maggots, Beckett's and Chapel Complex. The race lap record is held by Charles Leclerc who set a time of 1 minute 36.169 in a Ferrari SF90 in 2019. I will now show you my qualifying time for this week's event on F1 2019. So here we are at the start of the lap of the circuit of the Americas. You've got a little bit of traffic up in front of us. I think we did put, I did put the AI on a little bit of a lower difficulty uh, cause, just because I forgot to uh, put it up a little bit so we are probably going to have a few problems with traffic. You see coming into turn one here a very tight hairpin which goes uphill so uh, it's actually quite easy to slow down through there and then going into a uh, very fun uh, tri but tricky section though through the S's at sector one and it's going to put uh, quite a lot of strain on the tyres as well so it's going to be quite hard in the race as well but as you see we're going through those quite smoothly just trying to keep it smooth through here it should be good and through turn eight and nine trying to get a good exit out of nine because that just leads you on to a quite a decent straight and then coming up to turn 11 which is a very important corner you see braking very hard there uh, trying to get the turn 11 hairpin uh, all right so we can get a good exit out towards the uh, this uh, longer straight here so as you can see uh, getting very good exit out of the Ferrari F2004 just because it is uh, uh, always it has a very good exit with this car so you see coming into uh, a little bit of a slower section now through turn 12 another uh, quite tight hairpin and then you've got a uh, couple of corners here where it's actually quite easy to lock up and quite easy to slide as well there's not uh, too much grip uh, compared to the rest of the track especially 10 15 and 16 very easy to lock up there so just be aware of that then you're into uh, almost flat out corner you're lifting up just a tiny bit probably could have uh, kept on throttle a little bit more in that corner so there's definitely some time to be gained there so through turn 19 and then turn 20 the last corner definitely a very important corner as well trying to get that apex unfortunately we miss it a little bit uh, but it's going to be okay and that is my lap of the circuit of the americas you've just put in the fastest lap good job so after that lap we got our provisional results and for now it's P25 with a time of 1 minute 33.936 which may seem like a good position but this was done earlier than usual. You can see only about 1000 have done a qualifying lap however it did seem like a good lap so I'm hoping to stay in at least the top 5%. The final results will be posted in the comments below when they do come out and my video on the race will be posted at the end of the week so stay tuned for that. So that's going to be enough for today's video, hope you guys did enjoy, if you did make sure to hit that thumbs up and also subscribe if you're new to the channel and also comment down below any feedback or suggestions for future videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.